This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1007. Thank you so much for being here. I am back. I have some special announcements today, including special audio, so definitely stick around through the end. And I'm gonna answer some quick fire questions that popped in over the last 24 hours or so from our Instagram account, at Old Podcast. So a little bit of a special episode. It's been a long time since I've done something like this. If you're new here, this and the last seven episodes were different than usual. I'd recommend listening to any other episode to get a feel for what a typical episode is like. The last seven days were a short break for me. The podcast didn't take a break. I did, at least from narrating. I was still behind the scenes editing, working, the usual. But my voice wasn't in any of those episodes and that's the first time in a thousand days that I've done that. So that was interesting. Thank you for giving those episodes a shot and actually listening to them. Some people were making crying emojis on Instagram asking where I was. Flattering, but it was only a week and I'm back. I found some really generous people in the personal development space to come in and take over the show, so thank you to them. This podcast came about to give a wide variety of voices a platform. I do curate the content, but I purposely try to have a wide range of opinions so that you can take whatever resonates with you and run with it. Different articles hit home for different people. So for the last week, I let some guests take over completely and do whatever they want. And it's interesting because there were some themes in there that came up a few times It's almost like they coordinated it, but they didn't. Like putting all your effort into one very specific thing, giving it your all, and dealing with loss. It's good stuff, I hope you enjoyed it. If it gave you anxiety that I disappeared, don't worry, things are great, and thank you for being patient. This will be the last of the non-narrated episodes, and I believe things will continue on as usual starting tomorrow, but I wanted to do my own special thing also for the 1000 celebration. Plus, there are huge announcements and I wanted to answer some questions. I did wanna give you a big thank you first though. Every, I don't know, few days it feels like, I'm amazed thinking about how many people listen daily, how many people have nice things to say and are encouraging. There are a bunch of patrons of this show who are donating anywhere from a dollar a month and up, and that means so much. There have been some overly generous people, you know who you are, and I can't thank you enough for your support. This is not an easy thing to do, so donations, the kind words, the encouragement, all of that keeps me going. I can't thank you enough, and I wouldn't be here without you. And on Instagram, we put up a story asking for your questions so that I can answer some. I'll do a couple, then make a big announcement, then a couple more, and then another big announcement, so let's jump right in. First question, what do you love most about life? That's from at some say apple on Instagram. That's starting with a tough one. I'd say, and this might be a corny or cliche answer, but I have to say people. Family, friends, and OLD listeners. That's what I love most about life. All those people are encouraging, loving, and caring. And while I am an extreme introvert and need lots of alone time, the best times in my life were not spent alone. Quite the opposite, and I even tracked it. So yeah, I'd have to say people. Next question, share one thing you want to do or see before 2018 is over, smiley face. That's from Kate Flanders on Instagram. Also happens to be an author I narrate here, so that name should sound familiar. Hi, Kate. So before 2018 is over, uh, this is also a tougher one for me. I'll break it down into work life or professional life. And before 2018 ends, I'd like to have two more shows launched with each having at least 10 episodes. More info about that in a minute. And personally, I'd like to have more consistency with exercise, even if it's one push-up. To be able to say that I thought about it and I did at least one thing daily would be great, baby steps. So before the end of the year, have that commitment of just one push-up or one pull-up or one walk around the park. I think that's enough for me, as long as it's daily. But other than that, right now, I'm happy where things are. And I'm gonna break it up now because I mentioned it in that last question. I'm announcing a new show right now You likely already heard about this if you're on my weekly newsletter because I was asking for listeners of this show who are single. That might have sounded strange to you, but I had this crazy idea for a podcast. I think online dating is headed in the wrong direction. It's turning into viewing pictures as fast as you can and swiping away from them on a mobile device as fast as you can without giving people an actual chance. I wanted to create something more meaningful and pretty much the opposite of online dating. That'd be audio profiles. Have you ever listened to a podcast and wondered what that person looked like? It's basically that idea, but you're actually listening to people who are looking for a date. 
So the idea is to have someone interview single people and listeners can hear their stories, what they're like, and then if they want, see their picture and contact them through a website. The preview or the trailer is up now. The show is called Date Us. And my girlfriend is the host actually. Come listen to the trailer. Just search for Date Us in your podcast app and subscribe. Even if you're not single, it's almost all OLD listeners who are being interviewed. So it's a really cool way to hear the voices of listeners of our shows. And maybe you have a friend or family member and you can act as matchmaker if you listen to the show. These are awesome people, very dateable. I met them and I'd love to find them a match. If you can hit pause right now on this show and subscribe to that podcast and check out the trailer and mean a lot, just search for Date Us, it should pop right up. The full season, all the episodes will launch in a week and I'll play a couple clips at the end of this episode. All right, let's go back to the questions from Instagram. This one's from Shar Michaela. How to keep going in life even during the lowest moment. I'd say human connection and support and giving back or helping someone else. Support and connection could be therapy. It could be spending more time with friends and family. And giving back could be volunteering or doing some kind of project on your own that gives back, preferably not online. I haven't found anything else that works better than those things. Another question. Can you tell us a bit about your recording and editing process from Nina Yuchi on Instagram? I don't think I could explain it all in a short amount of time, but I'll try. I record into a microphone plugged in via an XLR cable into a powered amplifier, which connects to a digital recorder. And that amp isn't really necessary though, you can do it without it. And the digital recorder records the audio as a WAV file on an SD card. So once I'm done, I put the SD card into my computer and then I edit the file using the free software Audacity. Now let's do one more question before the next announcement. What's your favorite way to prepare and give gifts to loved ones? That's from Raf Taffy, or is it Rafi Taffy on Instagram? I probably messed that up. Uh, in terms of wrapping, I usually reuse bags that people give me because it doesn't make sense to me to actually buy it or to buy wrapping paper. I would use newspapers, that could be tacky, but I don't care. But the problem is I don't get newspapers delivered. And my mom's good at gift wrapping though, so it's nice when she does it. My favorite way to give gifts is when it's unexpected. Like even if it's on the day of someone's birthday, if it's like after the celebration is over or before, I think it makes that more memorable. And I always prefer to give experiences over things. Hopefully that answers the question. All right, so let's move on to the next announcement. There is one more podcast. The other podcast we launched is called Self-Obsessed with Jeff Grace. Jeff Grace is a new friend, a listener of the show actually, that's how I met him. He's a comedian, actor, and director, and he's wanted to interview and chat with people in the personal development space. I thought that'd be a great fit for what we do here. Like he can interview authors we narrate and talk to them about their habits, their routines, what they think about the self-help space. So that just launched, and guess who was on the very first episode? Me and my business partner, Lee. I've never done an interview on a podcast. The anxiety gets to me, so this will probably be your only opportunity to hear me being interviewed. So check that out. And coming up on his show are authors from this show, like Kristen Wong, Philip Taylor of PT Money, plus actors, directors, and more. It's called Self-Obsessed with Jeff Grace. And searching his name Jeff Grace is probably the easiest way to find it. And make sure you hit subscribe. All right, a couple more Q&As and I'll wrap up and play a little clip from the Date Us podcast. This is from Ray and Lily on Instagram. I know who this is. Hi, Susan Chang. I know this person in real life. Question, favorite podcasting microphone? Favorite is probably the Neumann U87, but that might cost over $3,000 last time I checked, so I don't plan on owning that anytime soon. I do have a baby version of that mic though, and I really like it. That's the Neumann TLM-103. But for beginners, I'd recommend the Rode NT1A. That's actually a bit professional. Or if you want a USB mic that plugs right into your computer, something like the ATR2100 would do the trick. Next question, how to stay motivated in life when we are failing again and again? That's from Sath B. Sorry for that pronunciation. Well, if it's failing at the same thing over and over, I would either move on from that specific thing or try an outside of the box, different approach. So for example, if it's failing over and over at learning how to ride a bike, and let's say you want to learn for exercise purposes, 
Well, you could try running or weightlifting instead. Or if bicycling is really your dream and passion, maybe it's training wheels or getting help from a friend or hiring an expert. I don't know, but the point is, you really have two options. You can keep going, but change the process. Don't keep doing things the same way over and over and change how you're thinking about it or quit altogether. If it's something like entrepreneurship, that's normal and necessary. I don't know anyone whose first business was a home run. I've had at least four other businesses that didn't work out before podcasting and at least a hundred ideas. That only comes with experience, which comes through failing. Failing is what gives you the progress that's needed to develop expertise. Lewis Howes interviewed Kobe Bryant and asked him how he feels when he loses a game. It was the most positive response I've ever heard, about losing at least. He loves it just as much as the wins because that's the only way he actually grows and learns from mistakes. The next question, actually this person asked two questions. Matej underscore I am, sorry about the pronunciation also. First question was, what's your favorite advice from all the episodes so far? I don't think I can answer that. I actually avoid that one typically because it's not one author who gave one specific piece of advice. It's the culmination and repetition of themes that helps me. So I'll leave that one there. And the other question was, if money was no object for you, what would you do? Not lying, right now, I would do this. But if I just couldn't handle narrating anymore, if I had to stop this podcast, it would probably be starting another business or launching another podcast, which I'm also doing right now. But yeah, this is it. I do feel very fortunate to be in a place where I can say that most people aren't. That is thanks to you, the listeners, and people contributing financially who keep this going. And of course, the authors who give permission. So thank you for allowing me to do what I would do if I didn't need the money. That means so much. So I think that's a good place to wrap this up. Thank you once again. I'm launching these new shows that I think are unique and adding value in different ways compared to our five podcasts where we narrate. And I'm only able to do that with your support. I said I'd play some clips from real life OLD listeners who are looking for love on the Data's podcast. I actually got to meet these people. and All of them are so nice and were a pleasure to meet. So here are some short clips from the show that's coming up, but you can subscribe now. Make sure to search for Date Us to subscribe and also Self-Obsessed with Jeff Grace. It'd mean so much if you could subscribe to both of those shows. And now on to the clips. Well, one place that was really interesting that I traveled to was Taiwan. And that's I, my people. I was, <laughs> my parents are from there, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it was really interesting. Um, it was like almost like I was like a celebrity there because <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everybody was staring. They don't see like blonde, blue-eyed girls walking around there a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's one of the things I want to try. Um, La Jolla has this glider port. And uh, fun fact is that you land on Black's Beach, which is in fact a nudist beach. So <laughs> I just think that's an interesting little fact. But I think that would be a fun thing and not too dangerous, I think. The more I explored it, the more I actually discovered that I liked being around those people and I liked doing those things. And that's definitely what led up to it just because my folks were just excited when they actually found out about it. I know that sometimes anyone who has heard of it before might have a negative view. Mm -hmm. The fact that I was actually going out, hanging out with people, being outside, you know, having fun, like that's, it's probably one of the best things that's happened in my life. <laughs> 